Highs and lows, that is our V life for you. And in case you're wondering which one this is, it's not a high. <laughs> This is the exhaust manifold for our truck, and in case you were wondering, it's not supposed to be out. It should be in there, but it's also really heavy, so I'm going to set it down. Unfortunately, we've been having some issues with our truck. Let us explain. So a few months back when we were still in Oregon, we had an exhaust leak. I didn't know what was causing it. We took it into a shop. They found that the original exhaust manifold on the truck was warped and they fixed it for us. And it cost a lot of money. <laughs> or so we thought they fixed it, right? I know, right? <laughs> Since then, we've done a really long trip to Michigan, and we're back in Colorado now as we're filming this, and the exhaust leak has just been getting worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Now, to be fair, they did replace the manifold with a better version and put it all back together, and initially, we thought our problems were solved. But the bolts were loose practically everywhere. Yeah, they did a really bad job. They didn't tighten all the bolts properly, and long story short, a couple of them fell out while we were driving, causing this major exhaust leak. So I took it into a shop in the Denver area, and they really took a long time with the truck to diagnose. That seems to be a theme, as the shops seem to be really busy around here. They didn't really fully diagnose everything. They did find that there was an exhaust leak, and it was going to take a lot longer than we had at the time to get it fixed. If you know the Denver area, and I'm sure this is true in many places, <laughs> state parks there are booked solid. So we were able to take advantage of the reservation that we had, but then we had to get out of there. So we came here, and thankfully we are in a location where after we discovered the problem, we've been able to extend, and we can be here, hopefully, until the problem is resolved. I initially tried to take it into some shops here in town, Everybody was booked two to three weeks out, which really wasn't going to work for us. So, lucky me, I've been delving into it myself, and I found all sorts of problems. There are missing exhaust gaskets, there's loose bolts everywhere. So, we've been stuck. I've actually had it all out once and all back together again, only to find that the exhaust leak was worse, which is a real bummer. <laughs> So I spent another day tearing it all back apart again, finding more missing gaskets, and it has been an absolute mess. Now, I do want to say that the shop in Oregon, we contacted them, they did send you some parts. Yes. And so we're grateful for that, and I would like to think that if we were there, and if we were closer, they would do the right thing, take it back in and fix it, but that's just not an option for us. So for the time being, we are literally stranded. This is our one mode of transportation to both tow the RV and to get around. Now in the past when we've had to take the truck in or have it be out of commission, we've rented a car. We thought about that, but then we thought, hey, we spent so much money on this thing in the first place. We want to try to not spend any more money if we can. There is a little bit of risk in that, I suppose, in that if something were to happen, we don't have a vehicle that works. You guys know that I am pregnant at the moment, right? <laughs> and so thankfully there are hospitals nearby, but how do we get to it? We feel fairly comfortable because we are in an RV park. We are near town and near hospitals and the RV community is amazing. So if we had to say, somebody, please, can we borrow your truck? Can you drive us somewhere? I feel like we'd be okay. So that's what we're doing at the moment. If it gets worse, we might have to look at other options, but for now, we're hopeful. The hope is here, in a couple of days, I'm gonna get some more parts and I can put it back together and it should work wonderfully. Cross your again. fingers for us, please. So we'll see you in a couple of days. Well, today is the day. I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff back together on the truck. There's still one more piece I'm waiting on, but I can do the bulk of it today. Fingers crossed. There was actually a time in my life where I enjoyed working on cars. 
I think that time has passed. I would happily pay someone to do this job for me now. Get back to work. <laughs> the manifold is back on and it is torched down properly. I am just happy that this thing is finally coming back together again. I am just about at the moment of truth here. I really just have to reconnect both batteries and start it up. And truthfully, I'm a little bit nervous. We have been without the truck for like a week and a half at this point. Some of that was just figuring out how to take it apart because I've never done this before. And then a lot of that was just waiting for parts. So. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. Oh my goodness, it sounds normal. <laughs> I gotta go take a look. I don't believe it. All right, I'm gonna go take it for a little test drive and report back. Uh, this way. Today is the final test for the truck. It is moving day, which means we finally get to hitch up and get out of here. We have been driving the truck around you know, multiple days, we've gone into town and just driven it around, and so far, so good. I really don't have any reason to believe that it wouldn't work just fine. I've checked all the bolts, they've stayed tight, which is a lot better than the first time around with that manifold. But the truck never actually works very hard until it's hitched up. So today really is like the final test to make sure everything is good. So we're gonna hitch up and hit the road and we're gonna hope that everything goes smoothly as we're on the road and that we make it to our final destination with no problems. Let's hope that happens and that we're not actually still stranded here. All right, <laughs> wish us luck. We'll see you at the next location. Let's do it. Can you guys hear that high pitched whistling sound? Yeah. So can we. We're not happy about it. It's not as bad as it was. It's something to do with the exhaust brake. And yet, it's still a little confusing because we have been using the exhaust brake. At times, it's on full exhaust brake and there's no sound. So it's not consistent but there is something going on. This is where all the Ford guys are gonna be like, you should have bought a Ford. And all the Chevy guys are gonna be like, you should have bought a Chevy. <laughs> because if we did and we had a problem with that, then all the Ram people would be like, you should have bought a Ram. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. I am kind of ready to drive it into a lake, but we're still rolling down the road. So I guess there's that. Yes, we won't be doing that. So far, it seems like we will make it to our destination. But apparently this is not the end of our story. I'm really looking forward to getting those wrenches out again, let me tell you. Well, we did in fact make it to the next campground. Here we are. The truck was good enough to at least do that. This is not the ending that we had hoped to bring you. This is not the end of our story and we have more to figure out. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to call someone I know who is a lot more knowledgeable about these things than I am, get some advice. See if it's something I can handle myself or if we have to arrange to take it in somewhere. But either way, we will have to get back to you guys about how it <laughs> turned out another time. We will let you know. And in the meantime, please pray for us. <laughs> yes. All See right. you all next time. Bye.